is Jenny Moore and I live here in the East Bay. I live in Rockridge, North Oakland. A community to support what I feel is a really important cause, which is not, you know, making sex something that's not taboo mm -hmm. and representing what sexuality actually is in media. Media is a huge thing that is very shame inducing for most people because parents, siblings, our culture never talks about sex or what it is or how to do any of it. People just look at media and then assume that that's how things are supposed to be, which then creates shame because anywhere that there's a rule or how things are supposed to be, that is like shame. Mm -hmm. So um, I wanted to celebrate a cause and be supportive of something that I feel is super important, which is having something out there that shows, hey, it's not just this one way. It's actually super expansive and non-limited. Yeah, to <laughs> totally. Oh my God, there's so many. Like, I think if I just talk about my gender, like being a woman, mm -hmm. but being a more masculine woman, and then how does a masculine woman fit into our culture? Yeah. And like, particularly around what I'm turned on by. So it's like super confusing and there's no exact science to it. So even though I'm constantly experimenting and trying to figure out how I can get my needs met and get my core desires met, being who I am, mm -hmm. um, it's there's so much disappointment there. But at least I have the awareness around like, hey, I'm not alone in that messiness of trying to get my needs met. Like everybody's dealing with this. And the people who say they aren't are pretending. <laughs> it's not true. true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're conformed and they're, you know, a lot of people that are conformed, like they're miserable. They're just as miserable as those of us who are experimenting and finding a lot of disappointment and moments of epic awesomeness and connection. Sure. So just celebrating those moments. Yeah. Oh God, I love that question. <laughs> I like, Ooh. I love lately. For, so this is lately because I feel like I, I change in every single moment. But lately I've been super big on like leaning into self care, which is just self pleasure. Mm -hmm. So like bubble baths, going to hot springs, being naked as much as I possibly can be. Yes. I love like the sun, the warm sun hitting my skin and then like a breeze coming and just taking that heat off. It's mm. like so erotic for me. Also love like variants. So I love massage, like really like messy, like lots of oil, like really just allowance mm. to just get as messy as possible and not trying to keep things clean. Um, so like massages that also have like light touch, um, Nature is super pleasurable for me. What else? Oh, charcuterie boards lately. So like, and really like what I love about charcuterie boards is the variance portion. So I can get like, you know, a piece of pear and then a, a walnut and some cheese and then it'll taste different with a different cheese. And oh, wow. you know, like you can just mix it up and I just find that to be so exciting. So I, I suppose novelty is really pleasurable for me. A food platter can be this sensual like pleasurable yeah thing. and as you say that i'm thinking like i have all these lovers that i turn into charcuterie boards <laughs> and i just have my girlfriends over and i'm like we just drink wine and gossip and pretend like they don't exist yeah and they're just like this gorgeous like charcuterie plate basically wow and then like we just eat with our hand i mean our, our mouths yeah and then like maybe there's like an earring or something that gets on them and so they're just like <laughs> That's incredible. So, yeah. I feel like that's There's like a, a whole new TV series that needs to be written. Yeah. Oof. I really love when I can get the moments of like disinhibition with others where we're just focusing on the connection and not how things should be, which is so hard to get through. And I get really frustrated when I get into a coaching dynamic with lovers. Mm -hmm. But in those moments where like, I'm in my body, they're in their body, and like, we're just able to connect without any, like, this is the next step, and then this is the next step, and then this is what we have to do after, and then you have to come, and then I have to come, and then we, you know, like, when all of that just gets to dis, like, just disappear into the ethers, then it's just like, us and I just love that so much and it's really hard to get to because especially in the Bay Area there's so much pressure on us constantly but those moments are really exciting also love like going on roller coasters on first dates mm. like that's really fun and exciting and erotic oh 
I really love drop top cars, Berkeley Hills, sexy human next to me, and like some rock and roll. Oh, hell yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I'm also super kinky, so like there's so many things in that that's really fun for me. Like I love knife play, and there's a lot of ways to make knife play super fun. And it's like, and the, the thing that I like about knife play, it's basically just like scratching, but with the adrenaline of roller coasters. Mm. So it's like, great. Yeah. <laughs> I love roller coasters. So yeah. Amazing. I think that Salty World, I don't know if you're familiar with them, they are doing an excellent job i think with like on social media and they have a magazine that they send stuff out so they're like representing lgbtqa people and like they're doing an excellent job but as far as just like education like sexual education i honestly feel like it starts with emotional intelligence with boundaries mm -hmm. consent embodiment and awareness around your body because i think there's so much trauma that people literally have no idea where to begin and i think that like so much of our culture is like, let's split us up into our mind, into our body. And like the body part, the feelings, the emotions, let's not deal with that. Let's just be robots, use our mind, cultivate. Um, you know, my mom's in education, she's an educator. And I see her all the time, like just splitting things up into like, you know, let's be robotic and just get things done. Like efficient, be efficient. And like, the, I think now we're moving into integration. Like we can do both and sometimes Empathy is the quicker way to solve the problem. Mm. It just is. So why are we not teaching it? I don't know. Yeah. Like, so I really feel like we need to just start with basic emotional intelligence of like boundaries and empathy. That's like non-negotiable at this point in schools and in the corporate setting as well. Mm. And also like repair. Oh my God. I feel like so many people would benefit with learning how to repair properly. Mm. Oof. Yeah. So. <laughs> Oof. That's so hard because I feel like most of the shame comes internally for me. Like, cause external shame turns me on. Mm -hmm. That's why I call myself a sex coach and not a relationship coach is cause I like people on airplanes being like, what? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. And you know, and then I get like juiced up by that. Yeah. Um, but I think most of my shame comes from my internal world. So I think I would just have a lot more peace and a lot of more co compassion and capacity for other people. I feel like I get caught up in my own shit so much that it's hard then for me to connect with others. Um, so yeah, I think I would just have more capacity for connection. I think everybody would. Yeah. yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> thank you thank so you. much. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for sharing yeah. everything that you just shared and yeah. being willing to be courageous and vulnerable. Yeah, thank of course. You. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>